Back in 2022, a Phoenix officer handcuffed and detained a Wall Street Journal reporter doing his job. Does After he, he even it. look like a Wall Street Journal like reporter? Gone are the fucking days of like the glider reporter with a pen in his hand and a suit on and shit. Like, nah, man. This is like Afro dude <laughs> in a white key. And the cop just handcuffed him for doing his job. Because, you know, if you're a black reporter on the streets, man, you're just as likely to get handcuffed by a cop as you are to, like, actually do your story. I mean, 50-50 chance, you know? Yeah, I mean, it happens all the time while they're out there reporting on, you know, the endless stream of black on black crime. Back in 2022, a Phoenix officer handcuffed and detained a Wall Street Journal reporter doing his job. After we broke the story, the case got international headlines, and it forced Phoenix PD to launch an internal investigation. The department. This caused an internal investigation. I hate sons, man. God. When we did that one <laughs> earlier where the guy got shot on the highway, all I could think was how much gas did it take in all these fucking police vehicles to come here and deal with this shit? Just one thing out of so many. Yeah, man. Tons of gas, man. It's, this is just... This is... this is we, 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 Like, listen, I, let me say that. I don't hate us. We, we, we're just annoying, man. I, we're, I'm annoyed by us, man. We're very, 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 very annoying. Cleared the officer of any formal discipline. But now, a new city watchdog report says police botched their own internal probe, and the report criticizes everyone from the chief on down. Tonight. So, get this straight. They did an internal investigation of the department, they found no wrongdoing. But now they're saying that they botched the investigation. Even though no wrong dude was found by the officer, the investigation to find out if he was doing wrong doing was not done right. So now they well, obviously because that. they didn't find anything wrong. <laughs> exactly. This is crazy. Cuffed and detained a Wall Street Journal reporter doing his job. After we broke the story, the case got international headlines, and it forced Phoenix PD to launch an internal investigation. The department cleared the officer of any formal discipline. But now, a new city watchdog report says police botched their own internal probe, and the report criticizes everyone from the chief on down. Tonight, ABC 15 chief investigator Dave Biscabing breaks down that report and why it highlights bigger problems for Phoenix PD. Think about the full picture here. This incident made international news, and it happened while Phoenix PD was news. under DOJ investigation. But despite all that, the city's own watchdog still found the internal investigation was not thorough and complete. It ignored issues of race and de-escalation. Top officials, including the chief, didn't follow policy by lessening the officer's discipline to just training. And the officer didn't even properly complete that training. Now, those are just the watchdog reports headlines, the bullet points. Here's how it looks when we take those full findings and put them with video of what happened. You do. I will leave. I'll walk away voluntarily. It was November 23rd, 2022, when Phoenix officer Caleb Zimmerman walked up to Wall Street Journal reporter yeah, Dion Rabowen outside of Chase Bank. Rabowen was interviewing already. people about a story on interest rates. The officer claimed Dion committed trespassing because bank employees told him to leave and he didn't. Something the report. <laughs> so he's, he, it's not like he's out there looking like a reporter. He's looking like a common thug out there. He's out here looking like he just came home from jail. <laughs> and you to throw him. rocks at these reporters and <laughs> standing up for a bank asking people about their money and shit. The bank employees asked him to leave. He refused. They called the cops. Like, yo, this isn't even controversial mildly, man. <laughs> yo, this is, this is, this is, this is, there's nothing here other than the fact that he's black. And put them with video of what happened. You do. I will leave. I'll walk away voluntarily. It was November 23rd, 2022, when Phoenix officer Caleb Zimmerman walked up to Wall Street Journal reporter Dion Rabowen outside of Chase Bank. Rabowen was interviewing people about a story on interest rates. 
The officer claimed Dion committed trespassing because bank employees told him to leave, and he didn't. Something the reporter says wasn't true. Please record this. Do you really want to make this worse? This hey, wait, 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 wait. Right now, I you can still. I told you I would voluntarily leave. Okay. That's not an option right now. Why is that not an option? Because I explained it to you already. Did you listen? This is a monitoring report from Phoenix's Office of Accountability and Transparency, or OAT. It's the first monitoring report it's ever released. And it opened this monitoring case because of our story. We did not need to cut them. Now, when it comes to what you just saw, it said, Oates Review identified several opportunities to utilize strategies that reasonably... Yeah, and, 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 and they're looking at it because nothing happened. But the only reason nothing happened was because they handcuffed them. You, you, you can't, like, you can't judge what would have happened. Well, he didn't. He didn't um, assault the officer. Well, he was handcuffed. That big old fucking guy. Muscle, you saw those muscles on that guy. Who know? The cop doesn't listen. The cop is driving around in this fucking cruiser, right? And we got any cops in the building? Come on up. Cops driving around in this fucking cruiser, patrolling the neighborhood or whatever his beat. He gets a call over the dispatch. Hey man, there's a guy at the bank. Um, he's outside trespassing and he won't leave. 10-4, we'll be over there. They fly over to the bank because it's dealing with a bank. Heart's probably racing. Gets there. It's this fucking guy in a fucking big ass fucking 70s ABA afro and shit. And a fucking tight ass white tee with muscles everywhere and shit. And he's supposed to be some fucking Wall Street Journal reporter. And he's giving you a fucking hard time. And now the end result of this is you being investigated. Your entire department be investigated by the Department of Justice. And then a year later, them coming back and saying the investigation you did was fucked up and you're in more trouble. Yo. And I love how they keep telling you he's a reporter like it has anything to fucking do with the fact that he was asked to leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all this trouble over this little incident. And it, and it makes sense because, look, if, if he had died, this country would have burned. Cities would have burned. His big so, afro head would be on a bunch of different statues now. Right. So if if he was only handcuffed for a few minutes, then yeah, this is a pro appropriate response. <laughs> I mean, when you when you fucking when you prorate it, this is an appropriate response. Let me let me chill. This is this was actually appropriate. Um could have de-escalated the situation. It also found the officer never spoke to anyone who could actually say they asked Dion to leave. The report continued. The bank wanted the involved civilian to leave. Well, the dispatcher told him. <clears throat> Allowing him to leave voluntarily would have accomplished this, except he wouldn't leave voluntarily. Yeah, but like, I, I got to say, like, he, he doesn't look like your typical reporter, right? I mean, he's got like a pick. Is, is that a pick in the back of his head? That's the... <laughs> Like, 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 you know, I wouldn't, I would never believe that this guy's a reporter. Like, and, who and would like, believe? I'm sure they don't provide him any kind of press credentials or anything, you know, over there. Yeah, for the Wall Street Journal, too. Like, I would have thought he was crazy. Like, I <laughs> yeah, thought, yeah, like, yeah, man, yeah I'm, and I'm a reporter for, you know, the New York Times. Yeah. yeah I'm fucking Napoleon, like, called EMF. I'm Napoleon and shit. Like, yeah. yeah, it's, 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 it's. it's <sighs> so much trouble, man. Allowing the involved civilian to do so voluntarily would have accomplished this. Grab your ID. I have your wallet. I, I and I'm an ID. To okay. The Oat report also said because Dion wasn't under a full custody arrest, the officer wasn't allowed to search him, but the officer did. And per police policy, that's supposed to be a class two violation that calls for a 24 to 40 hour suspension. Instead, Internal investigators recommended a written reprimand, and the chief's office lessened it even more. 
to just four hours of training. Sir, he's not doing anything wrong. But the Oat Report okay, found this is white woman. Of course, it's a white woman. <laughs> So he's not doing anything wrong. And she, I guarantee you she doesn't know him from a can of paint. I guarantee you she doesn't know. I guarantee you she was just going to the bank and saw a black man in trouble inside of Cape before. I guarantee. Chief's office lessened it even more to just four hours of training. Sir, he's not doing anything wrong. But the Oat Report found issues with that training too. The officer claimed he did two separate two-hour training sessions at the same time. Quote, not only did the involved officer receive a substantial reduction in discipline down to training, but it appears that they did not even fully complete the mitigated consequence for the unlawful search. Want to be taken. We interviewed Dion when we first broke this story. At every stop, I'm saying, hold on, why is this necessary? I don't think we need to do this. You know, from the cuffs to going to the car to being put in the car. After the incident... Dion filed a complaint, and the Oat Report confirmed our previous reporting that Phoenix closed the file quickly, only to reopen it once the incident got more attention. And the Oat Report criticized that reopened internal investigation, one of the main allegations that was supposed to be looked at, racial bias in detainment. But the report said that part of the investigation was not thorough and complete. The involved officer's interview was silent on the issue of race being a factor. In short, Investigators never asked that officer about race. But I think it's important to talk about this because of everything we've talked about. You know, this is a department that's under DOJ investigation for excessive force, um, that's under investigation for the way that they operate and the way they handle business. And despite that, they continue to operate this way. And In a written statement, Interim <laughs> Police Chief Michael Sullivan called the monitoring report insightful and valuable. He said he will thoroughly review it before responding. I'm Investigator Dave Biscobing, ABC 15. You take that shit seriously, too. Yeah, man. We, we, we're tired. Yo, the fact that people aren't tired of us is absolutely, positively amazing. I mean, Everywhere it shows... Everywhere they go, the, just gumming up the system in so many different ways. Yeah, like, this is a Wall Street Journal reporter. Like, think about the trouble... Like you, you get in trouble out of a Wall Street Journal reporter that the same trouble you would get out of a fucking wino. You know what I'm saying? Like, George Floyd might cause the same problem at the bank. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same issues. Like there's no there's no relief anywhere. There's no there's no all right. Well, we, well, he's a Wall Street Journal reporter, so at least we we, we all have the problem. Nah, you're being investigated by the DOJ now. <laughs> you got fucking ages fucking milling around your fucking department now. Well, you know, I, I could imagine Latoya Cantrell out there too doing the same shit. Them, she being asked to leave the 